Hello, I'm Miss Tell It Like It Is. I hope everybody out there is doing wonderful. I hope you all um, is having a wonderful year. I'm starting off, and if you haven't, well, I hope your year gets better, okay? Today's topic is going to be about uh, protect your positive energy, okay? Protect your positive energy. Um, I'm a very positive person, you know, and I'm very optimistic, even in the midst of storms in my life. You know, when I had the fire, I was optimistic. Um, when I've gone through some personal issues in my life, I've been optimistic. Sometimes it's not always easy to be positive when you're going through issues in your life, but I always feel found that if I focus on the positive, even in the negative, then it will help me get through the storm. Okay. Because I'm a positive person. Um, it's very important for me to have positive people in my life. Okay. But I know as well as you know, that we can't always have positive people in our life because a lot of times we have to work with negative people. We have to um, socialize with negative people that we come across with in society. You know, or sometimes we have negative relatives, negative siblings, negative kids, whatever, you know, but it's impossible to avoid all negative people. Okay. We all know that, right? It's impossible. So, a lot of times when you, when I come across negative people, um, I meditate to keep my mind in a peaceful state, even around those negative people. And I learn to tune them out. It's not always easy, okay? Because, you know, sometimes negative people can push your buttons and before you know it, you're going off, you know, but um, it's an everyday process of learning how not to let negative people impact your positive energy, okay? There was a song that Nat King Cole sung. It's called The Very Thought of You, and he was singing it, I'm sure, um, in regards to a lady, you know, it's more like a love song, you know, uh, but I was thinking about that song the other day and I related that song to my peace and how important having peace in my life is. Okay. And my peace is like my husband, my soulmate. Okay. My peace is everything to me. So as I was singing that song the other day, and I was thinking about it, I was thinking about peace, not a man, you know, not anybody, but peace, okay? And I'm going to sing the words to you, and the way I regard my peace, if you're a peaceful person, if you're a positive person, then you should regard your peace as well, okay? I don't own any copyrights to the lyrics, okay? I'm just singing the song. And um, and then I'm going to elaborate on the words of the song and how important peace is to me, okay? It's called The Very Thought of You, and it's Nat King Cole, and it goes like this. It's just the thought of you. It's just the thought of peace. And I forget to do. I never forget to guard my peace. The little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. We should all guard our peace. I'm living in a kind of daydream. I'm living in reality, y'all. I'm happy as a king. Well, I'm a woman, so I'm a queen. 
and foolish though it may seem. Nothing foolish about guarding my peace. What do you think about yours? To me, that's everything. Peace is everything to me. The mere idea of you, the mere idea of peace. The longing here for you, the longing for peace. You'll never know how long the moments grow till I'm near to you. I see your face in every flower. I see peace in every situation, baby, even negative situations. Your eyes are stars above because peace comes from the universe. It's just the thought of you. It's just the thought of you, the thought of peace. The very thought of you, the very thought of peace. My love. Remember, peace is like husband to me, okay? So peace is like love. The mere idea of you, the longing here for you, you'll never know how long the moments grow till I'm near to you. I see your face in every flower, your eyes and stars above. It's just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. Beautiful song, isn't it, y'all? Very beautiful song. And see, no matter how classic that song is, it's still beautiful because it is the words that mean so much to me. And... If you're a peaceful person like I am, you know, you have some control over the people that you invite in your life, okay? Like me, okay? I don't invite people in my life easily, okay? That's one way I guard my positive energy, okay? I just don't let people come into my life. And some people may think that I'm being stuck up or, you know, being bitter or whatever. But no, I'm particular because I love peace and I know that everybody isn't positive, okay? So I have to guard my positive energy because a lot of times through past experiences of dealing with negative people, I encountered my peace of mind being invaded by their negative energy. And if you are a empath like I am, if you can pick up on people's energy, which all of us can because we are spiritual beings, okay? But some of us more than others, I'm very in tune with people's energy, okay? I can be, in fact, I'm so in tune with people's energy. People that, especially I know, that I can feel someone in another state. I can feel someone far away, okay? I can feel what a person's going through. That's a no, another video. But anyway, if you are empathic like I am, you can feel really well then when you have negative people in your life or you invite people in your life, especially people you don't know, their negative energy can drain you, okay? Their negative energy can drain you. You may be wondering like, why am I so tired? Like, I feel so... It's because you have these negative people that carry negative energy and they're like spiritual vampires they're so negative they're draining you and some people don't even realize they're a spiritual vampire they really don't um but because i am in tune spiritually i recognize spiritual vampires and i 
do my best to stay away from them. You know, a lot of times when you invite people into your life, especially, you know, negative people, and you begin to feel drained, it's because their negative energy is draining you because we are spiritual beings, okay? We're made of spirit and soul. Our physical body is just a house of clay to house that spirit and soul. And within that spirit and soul, especially the human spirit, we have emotions, okay? And those emotions operate off of energy that you can't see, but it's there. And a lot of times, especially when we find ourselves loving negative people, we have to be careful because especially bitter people, have you ever seen someone bitter and you try to love them? You may even tell them, I love you. And they're so bitter. What you love me for? Don't love me. I don't want your love. I'm okay. Just take you and your love over there. And no matter how much you try to love them, they reject you. The more you give of yourself, the more they take and then after a while, if you're not careful, if you don't guard your positive energy, you'll start feeling negative like them. A lot of times you'll become negative. And sometimes you don't even know why. You you be thinking a lot of times it's you and it doesn't be you. It, it's them. It's them. But you be picking up on their negativity and you be storing it within yourself. And after a while, it's like you traded places with this person. You know, you're all negative and then you, you, you're acting bitter. When that happens to me, y'all, I have to stop. I have to pray. I'm like, well, let me pray this off of me. Okay, because this... I'm picking up on someone else's spirit. This is not my spirit. This is not my personality. I got to pray this off of me. So it's important people to. If you do love people that are negative, And if you do have relatives, kids, whatever. And, that are negative and they happen to. You know be around you or you have a negative husband, you have a negative wife and you y'all live together, it's important to stay prayed up. It's important to leave and get you some me time. It's important to meditate, pray, listen to relaxation music. You know, just get away sometime. Get away so that that person's negative energy doesn't rub off on you and drain you, have you feeling tired and and beat down and, you know, mad and and feeling bitter because you are, you're an empath and you can, you, you like sucking up all their negative energy. you like a sponge, you know. You ever feel like a sponge for everybody's emotions and and all kind of negativity? You ever, I, I am a sponge. I am spiritually a sponge for people's energy. And um, I just really, that's why I guard my, my energy. I keep people... I don't put people in my bosom. Um, I don't invite new people in my life. Um, 
And there is a lot of people that I have said goodbye, a lot of friendships, uh, relationships, um, because simply I wasn't going to tolerate that negativity around me. But then there are people that I do have to deal with all the time that are very negative. And I have learned um, ways to tune them out. The more negative they get, the more positive I get. And sometimes I've looked at certain negative people and I'm so positive at times that I look at them and they look at me and they just frown. They can't even stand to even look at me. Because, see, when they're looking at me, they're looking at all my spiritual positivity. And their little evilness in them can't stand it. So, therefore, when they look at me, they have to frown because I got too much light for them. See, that's a whole nother video. But anyway, stay positive out there, you all. Especially for those positive people. Stay positive. Fight for your peace. Okay. Your peace of mind. Your happiness. You know. And one thing I would tell you. And, and you all know. Peace comes from within. There is not, This outside world. For me. I'm going to speak for me. Cannot give me peace. The peace I get is. From within and being connected to the universe, which is the creator, okay? When I'm connected to the universe, then I can be at peace within myself in harmony. Because if you're connected to the universe, look, you co you're connected to everything. You're connected to nature, okay? I mean, and if you ever notice... Everything in nature flows in harmony, except for when nature gets tampered with, okay? That's a whole nother video, too. Then nature goes out of control. And, but nature in itself flows in harmony. The moon with the sun, the sun with the moon, the stars, the birds, the earth. The way the earth keeps creating the grass, even the soil, everything. Everything is in harmony. So if I am connected to that universe, to the universe, then I'm connected within mind, body, spirit, and soul, and then I can have peace. And then, therefore, when I see negative people trying to invade my peace, I can repel them with my positive energy, with my love, okay? And if you ever know, love is the strongest force in the universe, Pure love. If you have pure love, you can repel all negativity because there is nothing above love. Saying that, you all you all have a wonderful um, night, day, wherever you may be. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe. I never tell people to really subscribe. Every now and then, you know, I let you come on your own. There's some that will come and there's some that, that won't. But hey, it's all good. As long as I reach someone, as, as long as someone hears me, I'm good with that. Take care. Tulu.